subscribe to Finder briefly for Bones fans that might be wanting to transfer over as well as new viewers? Well, I, I, we hope um, the Finder exists in the same universe that Bones exists in. It's a, it's a heightened reality. Um, full of character and humor and uh, quirk and whimsy and um, a, f a few tears, we hope. Uh, so I hope the, that the Bones fans who enjoy the tone of Bones um, will enjoy the, the tone of, um, of the finder. Um, and we have a different kind of, um, uh, you know, in Bones it was all about will they, won't they, will they, when, will they. Um, and we have just a different uh, take on that in in uh, this show between um, Walter Sherman, the finder, and, um, and Isabel Zambada, who is his girlfriend. It's, uh, they don't see a future with each other. And if we do this right, the uh, world will think they should have a future together. Do you have anything you want to say about that? You love bones. No, I, I guess I would just say the um, kind of that Mr. and Miss Mr. and Mrs. Mr. And Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Mrs. Smith quality of bones, yeah. Yeah. that that's embodied in this show with um, Walter and Leo, who is yeah. his sort Mrs. of, Smith. Um, <laughs> yeah, he's Mrs. Smith. <laughs> Mrs. Smith is a six a very, foot five Yes, a big, black very masculine <laughs> Mrs. Smith, but who is, uh, who's his foil. Oh wow! Um, it, I don't think um, a single character on this um, show was formed with. Uh, uh, let me let me say that in a way that makes sense. Um, every character changed um, from its first um, uh, iteration once we had. Uh, an actor. Um, Walter was um, uh, conceived as a darker, more damaged human being, and then we met with Jeff and realized, oh, we have a better idea. Um, Leo was going to be a old white cowboy. cowboy. Um, think Sam Shepard. Um, and I got a call from the um, studio casting saying Michael Clark Duncan is um, interested in doing TV do you have a part for him and I just said yes um, so our old white cowboy turned into um, Leo um, a, uh, a, a former lawyer um, um, Maddie Hassan who plays um, um, Willa uh, Willa Monday gypsy girl um, we really looked, uh, that was a, you Far should talk about that. You should talk about the well, casting I process. I think we, we must have read 300 girls for that part, and I think uh, the casting department pre-read another 300 before that. And actually of all the very accomplished actresses, young actresses that came in to read for that part, the one who gets it is this young girl who really is actually 16 years old. She's has uh, aged beyond her years. She's really very, sort of like an old soul. And she's from uh, North Carolina. And we, she had submitted a tape of herself. And usually those kind of things are the things that fall through the cracks. But almost as if by serendipity, for lack of a better word, we saw her. And it was, she was one of the last girls we saw, right? Yeah. She, uh, it, it's a very difficult part because we need someone who's immensely sympathetic. Um, a character who uh, is a criminal, a juvenile delinquent, is not at all warm and fuzzy. Um, is a tough girl, and and a liar, and a cheat, um, and um, make her part of a family, our our Ursat's uh, family unit. So she had to be immensely sympathetic, despite that, despite the character. The, the actor, the actress had to transcend the character. And uh, man, when when we saw Maddie. Um, She's so um, uh, uh, inexperienced that we kept wondering if she would be able to do it again. You know, her, her reading was so terrific. And we think, oh, can she do it again? Does she have the chops to do it again? And man, that is one talented yeah. young actress that um, I, I feel like we just got a huge win there. But what's you interesting like about Maddie is... Strikes, strikes with that cast when you felt them working together? Sorry? Oh, yeah, oh, you know what? Um, when Walter and um, uh, when uh, Jeff and and MCD Michael Clark Duncan 
met, never mind in character, when they were together. They'd worked in a movie uh, a while ago. Um, my theory is that these are two uh, ex-jocks. I mean, they are, they are team players. They played sports at a high level. Um, and, um, and so they bonded in a way that guys, they had an inst instant way to bond that guys do. Very, very, um, what's the word? Not confrontational. Competitive. But competitive um, and, and good natured. And uh, we thought, oh, wow, if that goes on to the screen, uh, we're gold. And it does. It goes on there. They have incredibly good um, uh, chemistry. That's uh, so. much like a sidecar. I mean, it's kind of a unique vehicle for anything. <laughs> <laughs> the thought, you know what? Sometimes we say, what would be funny? And putting Michael Clark Duncan in a sidecar. Is funny, um, and uh, we, it came up while we were discussing vehicles for everyone. Well, also just in terms of everything about Walter is sort of analog or almost anachronistic in terms of the the things that sort of occupy and things that he uh, occupies well and he employs in his world to do his job. Nothing is modern. It is as far from sort of the high-tech world of bones as you can get. That's also sort yeah. of a fun thing about it because nobody's really doing that. Good? Awesome. Oh my God. Oh,